Boynton Beach, Florida. A maniac in a woody rips through town, terrorizing other drivers. 911 calls flood dispatch. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, you almost hit us. What's going on? What are you doing? Officers Jason Viscomi and Stephen Mayorino need to stop him before his game of bumper cars turns deadly. That vehicle just went whizzing by me. The guy doesn't seem to be stopping. Your mind is racing. It's racing. So you don't know what's going to happen next, OK? Because you don't know if you just killed somebody or just robbed the bank. We don't know. Every available unit joins the chase, and not a second too soon. The desperate criminal races forward. Sending a stunned commuter careening onto the embankment. Oh, my God. Holy this ran us off the road. Now, I'm on high alert. He was going to make sure that he was going to do whatever it took to get away. The crazed man blazes onto the freeway, then slams on his brakes, forcing police to smash into his car. He just ran to our patrol vehicle. He just attacked in the line of our car. He was pretty much, um, by the letter of the law, attempting to kill me. But his next move shocks even the veteran officers. The man wheels around in a kamikaze attack. He bashes head on into Vascomi's cruiser. At this point, I'm shocked. My eyes are wide open. I'm breathing hard. You got tunnel vision, and you don't know what's going to happen next. The suspect is dazed as police close in. But he commits one more offense, a one-fingered salute. Basically, he extended his hands and extended his middle finger towards me. And that's when we all got out and took him into custody. This highway hellraiser's terrifying disregard for officers and other drivers sends him downtown. He's just lucky his drugged-out demolition derby didn't send anyone to the morgue.